In science, you're limiting yourself to what you can observe about the physical universe. No claims of supernatural knowledge are allowed. The key to the scientific method is testing your ideas against the observable reality of nature. A hypothesis is a brilliant new idea about how the universe might work, but we haven't thoroughly tested it yet. If you understand how and why, then you can make predictions about what. In scientific theory, these predictions have been thoroughly tested. However, in the scientific method, there's really no end to the testing, and further testing may reveal that you need to make changes in your theory. Galileo was one of the first to practice the scientific method. His careful experimentation showed that many of Aristotle's ideas that had been accepted for over a thousand years were just plain wrong. We also have a link to a website that has letters from Galileo's daughter. The letters give you some insight into the Renaissance and Galileo's own personality. Scientific law tells you what always happens. If we find an exception, then we have to change the law. Nature can be very complex. Sometimes we need to leave unimportant details out in order to get an answer in a reasonable amount of time. A good example of this is hurricane predictions. We need to know where that storm's going in the next 24 hours. Of course, sometimes your predictions are wrong. And when they're wrong, you need to look at your model and see if you left out something that was actually important. Detecting scientific fraud is easy to do. The universe works the same way for everyone all the time. So anyone can check the experimental results that you're claiming. Pseudoscience methodology ignores any contradictory evidence from observable reality.